welcome to the Squirrel Tale. Now, in this video, I'm going to be discussing and shooting um, my Pennsylvania flintlock pistol that I built. Um, now, this has already been on the channel a few times in shorts and even in some of the building of it. Um, but... You know, I really, besides my little pocket, brass pocket pistol, didn't have a good flintlock pistol. When I was cleaning the shop, I found the parts for this. Um, I think they... I'm not 100% sure where they came. I'm like, okay, I have the parts here. So I might as well put it together, and it was a fun little project. Don't actually have that much money in it. Um... Like I said, I think the barrel, the stock, and the lock, I believe, were all given to me, so... I mean, and then... I mean, with the hardware, which I guess that's what I'll talk about, just the standard trigger and trigger plate, the... Um... Trigger guard... I hand forged out, which was kind of cool, and I made the ramrod symbol. Simple sights. That is actually a piece of a lock plate that when I made my swivel breech action, that was a scrap lock plate. Actually, I should probably be able to show you that, maybe. It came off that piece. There's the lock plate. And that's where it came from. Which I thought that was kind of a neat usage of resources. See, in the swivel breech, the lock plate, you end up cutting off the frizzin for that. but And it's, you know, curly maple stock. Um, I did an aqua forest finish, which I have a video on doing that. Um, and I should have a link up there in the video. So an aqua forest finish, hand forged hardware, I engraved my name on it. It's pretty simple. I didn't go too elaborate. I plan on, this is a gun I plan on shooting frequently, so it's more just a simple shooter. Um... Someday I'll probably make a pretty display pistol. That's one I plan on putting a high round count for. But I mean that's that's pretty much it with it. 45 caliber. Um there's a small chambers lock, a green green mountain barrel. Yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So I do have a couple clips of me shooting it. And then I also have some pictures of it in the building process. That will be at the end of the video. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Enjoy the rest of the video and have a good day.